How's it going, Reef Keepers? So I just took my power head and it's this power head here. I take the line out of this cord chase here and I take the power head in my hand and I blast the rock work with it. You can see the amount of detritus in the water and actually probably the best angle you're gonna get is on this side of the tank, look at that. Normally that's crystal clear all the way to the other end. But I do this once a week, every week, like I described in my recent video about what I do to my tank every single week for maintenance. And this is a once a week deal. And you can see some corals don't love it in the moment, but by the end of the full intensity light period, later on, you know, in a couple hours, uh, I assure you, Every coral in this tank will be puffed up bigger than it has been all week. And I actually stole this approach from Jake Adams, who I don't know that he did this, certainly not every week. I think he said he did it once a month or once a year. But I there was a, a Jake Adams video somewhere along the way of the probably hundreds of Jake Adams videos out there where he mentioned taking a wave maker and running it on high and just blasting off the rock and corals in a tank once every once in a while. It wasn't every week. Again, I'm, you know, OCD, absolutely fastidious about this kind of stuff, totally obsessive compulsive about it. But it is as easy as making sure you have one power head that's available. Here it is. And just going right up close to the rock and blasting it out. And I go, I know every nook and cranny of my rock and where the detritus likes to hide. So I'll blast it, like detritus likes to hide in a couple of spots over here. You can see it coming out. And what I do is actually, I don't just do it and then replace the power head and leave it alone. What I do is I do it once. I let everything get stirred up crazy in the tank I go through and scrape all my sand too and stir my whole sand bed up. So it's an absolute storm of detritus in the tank all getting pushed into the overflow. I leave the pumps on high. Then once it settles out, I do one more pass over the rock with the power head just to make sure that all anything that clung back onto the rock gets blown out of there. And then I immediately switch my filter cartridges out. So. If you've got a roller, that'll be taken care of. If you have filter socks and you do this, I would switch the filter socks out immediately. I have Rocky Mountain uh, fish filter cartridges. So I just go rinse those out immediately upon completion of this task every week. And I, right now it's Friday. I like to do this on Friday if I possibly can, just to get it out of the way. I had a couple extra hours today and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna knock this out, get it out of the way. And then I only have to worry about like general maintenance tasks, like refilling reagents and, you know, cleaning out my skimmer and doing stuff like that tomorrow. And it frees up more of my Saturday with regards to my main display system. But a few people were like a little bit surprised to hear, like, you know, I take a, I take a wave maker and blast every inch of this rock work every single week. But it really isn't that hard. It doesn't take that long to take. I mean, it's like two minutes in the tank, just, you know, carefully blasting out all the crevices. And then you leave it alone for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, come back, do one more quick pass over it to blow off anything that was lingering. And then it's over. And I have found for algae maintenance, for uh, phosphate levels, nitrate levels, et cetera, et cetera, just giving all this a good blast, especially when it takes me a grand total of five minutes of effort once a week, it is way worth the headaches that it saves. So anyway, I figured I would share since I was doing it and uh, I got one dry hand. So <laughs> all right, folks, thanks very much. Have a good one.